Hello everybody, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Got another adventure for you. Today is Tuesday, September 26, 2023. And just got here to Asheville, North Carolina, here with my mom on this adventure for today. Uh, so the mission today is uh, we're here in a state park called DuPont State Recreational Forest. It's about 30 minutes south of Asheville just got here gonna start a hike um, there's about we're, we're gonna go check out four different waterfalls here in this state park so um, let's get going let's check out the first one uh, the first one is called uh, hooker falls I believe so uh, we just parked the car and looking for the trailhead here so let's go ahead and uh, figure this out so we need to go this way Oh, here it is. Hooker Falls Trail. All right, so here's the first waterfall called Hooker Falls. And I don't think it's too far of a hike from the uh, trailhead here. It's where you can park the cars. And I guess we'll just follow the signs that say Hooker Falls Trail. So it's a nice, nice day out today. High of like, what was it, 70 degrees? So feels nice out. All right, guys. So check it out. Really nice trail so far. Uh, right in this big forest here with these huge trees. So far it's been a it's a pretty easy trail to do. Um, not too steep or anything yet. Pretty it's like this uh, paved sort of not paved but it's a pretty well maintained trail. All right guys, so we have approached a really cool spot here along the trail. It's like this uh, opening here. So we just came from down this uh, ridge area and then the trail goes out over here. And as you can see, got the first waterfall up ahead, Hooker Falls, which we'll take a look at. Uh, and then you have this uh, creek area right here. It's really cool and scenic. So, Let's go ahead and check out Poker Falls. The water looks pretty refreshing. It's uh, still pretty warm over here in uh, Asheville, uh, high of around like 70 degrees. So, I'm not sure how the water feels. The water might be kind of cold. So check it out, Hooker Falls. Let's get a close up. Maybe we can make it, uh, maybe there's a way to get up on the top part there. Nobody's swimming. We have to uh, see what this water feels like. Careful uh, stepping around over here. Eh, pretty cold, but nothing you can't get used to. What do you think? Should I take a dip? Should I take a dip in the water? It's tempting.
Let's see how close we up we can get to the uh, waterfall. Alright guys, so this is probably about as close as we're going to get to the waterfall because um, right above us here is a uh, rock ridge and there's a whole bunch of signs everywhere saying uh, no rock climbing, so uh, I think this is about as far as we're going to get here. And as you can see the water on the rocks here, you can tell it's really slippery, but um, yeah, pretty cool. So that's the uh, first of the four waterfalls, Hooker Falls Trail. All right, guys, so that's it for Hooker Falls Trail. Now we're making our way over to the second waterfall. So I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Let's go. So just made it back to the start of the Hooker Falls Trail. It's about a little less than a mile from the trailhead to the waterfall. And then, um, you know, hiking back to the trailhead, probably looking at uh, about like a mile and a half altogether. So it's the starting point here. Uh, now we need to find where the next waterfall is. So uh, let's see if we can find the next trailhead. I think it's across the street. All right guys, so next waterfall on the list here is called Triple Falls. So we went that way for Hooker Falls. Time to go this way for Triple Falls. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, so a pretty nifty little bridge you have to cross over to get to the Triple Falls. And uh, got someone fishing down there. Nice little creek. Runs over here on the other side, little viewpoint here, some stairs. Make our way over to Triple Falls. All right, guys, so check out this uh, cool little viewpoint along the trail here. Looks like uh, you can do some, some boulder hopping through the uh, river. Ooh. Ooh, it's slippery. Uh, not sure how I'm going to get to the other side without getting my shoes wet. Alright, so check it out guys, another viewpoint. 
a lot of little viewpoints along the trail here. Right along the river. See some little fish in there. So uh, we're gonna be heading up a steep incline here in a minute. And I think it takes us uh, up towards Triple Falls, which is must be on a higher elevation because the trail starts to go uh, up pretty steeply. I'll show you in a minute. Alright guys, so some caution signs saying steep slope, as you can see. Elevation goes up quite a bit here. All right, guys, just making our way up this steep slope. How you feeling, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> Good workout? Yeah. Not bad for, uh, what, 63 years old? 64. Going on 64. On. And, and next month, 64, so. She's a trooper. Look at that. I think I can see the waterfall from here through the trees there, so. Not too far away. Almost at the top. All right, so here we are guys. Nice view of the Triple Falls. This is why they call it Triple Falls. So you got one at the top, got the second waterfall, and the third one down there. And a uh, nice little rest stop there for anyone who wants to sit down, take a rest, and enjoy the view of Triple Falls. Really nice view there. All right, let's see if we can get a little closer to it. All right guys, so we approached the third waterfall. This one's called High Falls. To the left here, you can see through the trees, sort of. Let's see if we can get a better look at this one. I think there's a viewpoint up ahead somewhere here. There's also a trail that leads down to the base of the waterfall that we went past, uh, but we decided to see if we can get a view from the top here. All right, so check it out, guys. It's a nice view there of High Falls here in DuPont State Recreational Forest. Very nice view. I can see somebody down at the bottom there, just lounging around. Some group of people there. So it looks like there's a trail, maybe this trail goes down to the bottom or something. It's a nice place to swim there too. Wonder if you can get to the top. Alright guys, so there's one more waterfall along this trail called, I think it's called Grassy Creek Falls, but we've decided that we're going to skip that one because that one's a little further uh, off from the trail, it's another mile or two, and uh, it's already about 3 o'clock, so uh, we're going to try to head on out from the state park and go to uh, a brewery after this, so we want to make sure we have some time to do that. So we're going to make our way back to the start of the trailhead. 
Let's go do it. All right, guys. So we just found another little side trail that I think will take us down to the base of the High Falls waterfall. So we're on this right now, and uh, I think it's going to take us over there. So being that it's a Tuesday, it's uh, not too crowded here in this park. This park actually is very popular on the weekends. It can get very crowded. A lot of people on the trails. Uh, we've definitely been seeing, you know, quite a few people walking on these trails as well, hiking. But not like it, what it would be like if it was a, if it was a weekend day. So if you're going to visit this place, I highly recommend to do it on a weekday. So uh, get a little bit better of an experience. All right, guys. So I think we approached the base of uh, the falls. Oh, here it is. So as you can see, you got the high falls up there and it's the bottom part where it flows. Nice little chill spot. Be a good place to sit down and have a little snack and make some coffee, but I didn't bring my coffee kit with me, so I'll have to skip that part. All right, very scenic, but I think it's time to head on back and hit up the brewery. Right, guys made it back to the start of the trailhead here in DuPont State Recreational Forest uh, that sums up our little trip here to, this, to the recreational forest so uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next adventure all right